All right, you guys, so St. Patty's Day is coming up. Hopefully you got a little bit of the luck of the Irish coming to you. So what I'm gonna do, you guys, I've already built out my extension. I've done that in our speed clear. So before I do my actual application with colors and glitters, I wanna make sure that I put a little bit of a seal over that natural nail. Now the reason that I'm doing a little bit of speed clear is so that when I go to change out my design, I'm not gonna be filing all the way down to that natural nail to remove all that glitter or all that color. Now, I've got a mix of TV Dinner. This is one of our really pretty gold glitters. I love this one just as, a, as itself. I didn't mix anything else in with it, just the Speed Clear powder, okay? So I'm gonna start by creating our nail body area. And I'm gonna create a little bit of a smile line as well. Now, because I gave that a couple extra seconds to set while it was still on my brush, it's not gonna run and flow as quickly as it normally would. And just start to kind of move this into place for my smile line. Now, if you like deeper smile lines, you can create a deeper smile line. If you like a more shallow smile line, it's totally up to you. So you can do whatever kind of smile line you like. Now, with the glitters, I find that I've got a little bit more time to work with my product and move my product, that glitter is going to kind of slow down our set time a little bit. So I've got a lot of time here to really get my smile line into shape. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of tuck in my sides here, make sure my smile line is how I want it. And make sure that when you're doing your smile lines that you're sitting straight out from that nail. If I were sitting kind of off to the side and working like this, there's no way that my smile line is gonna be straight. It's gonna be kind of lopsided. So make sure that you're looking straight at that nail so that you know your smile lines are gonna be nice and straight. Okay, so you can see that I did that really thin because I'm gonna, again, add clear over the top of this nail to encase that glitter so that I don't file that off in my finishing. Now, if a little bit of the clear gets over the edge, don't worry, it's gonna be fine because again, I'm gonna come through with a hand file and sharpen up this smile line. I just wanna make sure that my whole glitter area is capped and sealed. Okay, so our glitter is set, so I'm gonna come back in. I'm gonna use a brand new 150 grit file. I haven't taken the sharp edges of it off yet because I want that sharp edge to really be able to crisp up my smile line here. So I'm just gonna come through, clean that up. Any of that clear that was kind of hanging over the free edge, if it was hanging over the glitter, that's gonna all get filed into shape. So again, just a quick way of perfecting our smile line. So if you didn't get it perfect on your application, you can do it now. We'll just dust that off. Make sure everything looks nice and crisp from the eat, from the sides. So now that I have that clear over the top, now you can really see there's kind of that drop down. So now our, our smile lines can be really nice and crisp and sharp. Now we're gonna do our rainbow on our free edge. And when I'm working with my slick pour colors, I wanna make sure that I'm working a little on the wetter side so that it gets the color to kind of flow a little bit more. I'm gonna turn that nail on the side. I'm gonna drop that right up into the corner. Make sure that I get all the way up into that corner there. And then just kind of guide that product, let it flow down the free edge. Now, I'm not trying to make perfect straight lines or anything like that. I really actually just want my, uh, my colors to kind of flow together and kind of blend. So I'm gonna work a little bit quickly so that my first color hasn't set up by the time I get my second color on there. And then you can, if you wanna kind of mix them together a little bit at the, at that, um, where they blend together, you can do that, or you can have a little bit more of a crisp definition between the colors, however you want your rainbow to turn out. So again, I'm just kind of letting my product flow together. You don't necessarily have to have straight lines, perfect lines, just let it kind of blend how it's gonna blend. Just getting it right up to that smile line though. I'm just kind of guiding it through. I think I needed a little bit more green showing, so I'm gonna just bring a little bit of that blue back over. 
Okay, so at this point, again, you guys, I was doing my colors really, really thin and again on the wetter side so that they flow a little bit more. So again, you can see that I still have space between where my surface and my color is. So I'm gonna fill that in with our Speed Clear. And if you like to, you can drain out just a little bit of that liquid if it feels like it's gonna be too wet. I'm gonna drop that down and I like to just brush that up to my smile line. Just to make sure that all of that is capped up into those corners and then I'll kind of let that flow down the length of the nail. If it's stopped flowing, you can kind of help it along just using your brush to get that to the free edge. Now as it's starting to set, if you need to press a little bit more and it's not flowing, use more of the belly or the base of your brush to really help move that product. I think I need just a little bit more right up into the corner on this side so I just drained a little bit of my liquid out and I'm just going to blend that right up into that corner and then blend through. Now any of your color or any of that clear that got up over the top of our gold glitter, don't worry about that, that's all going to file out when we do our finishing. Okay, so while that first nail is going to be setting, I'm going to show you guys just a really fun, quick, easy design that you can add to your um, St. Patty's, any kind of St. Patty's nails. It doesn't have to be this design. Just a really quick little pot of gold. I'm going to use our overdrive and fizz from our mission control. When I'm doing designs, I actually like to kind of break it up into sections. Give myself a little bit of a rounded side and then a little bit more of a flat base. Now, if you are somebody who's had too much coffee and you get a little shaky, really make sure to put pressure down into your fulcrum fingers here, into that ring finger or your pinky to really kind of stabilize yourself a little bit better. I'm gonna do the top of my pot of gold. I'm just gonna do a nice straight line across that top. Go ahead and put that into the light. Just set it in there for a quick, maybe 10 second freeze just so that your product sets and your outline is set and you're not gonna smudge it up. I'm gonna switch over to my number four brush and I'm gonna use that to just kind of fill in that center part. Now you could do this with your liner brush. It's just gonna take you a little bit more time. And I feel like with the number four brush, I get a little bit more of a smoother application. Okay, so again, we'll go ahead and set that into the light. We're gonna set that into place. And now I'm gonna use my liner brush one more time and I'm gonna create just a little bit of a light reflection right at the corner, kind of the base of our cauldron here. And then we'll set that into place. Again, I'm gonna do just a quick 10 second freeze. Okay, so we're gonna come back in with our gold glitter coins. And I'm gonna use a little bit of our Synergy Base Gel. Now you can use the Manicure Base Coat, you can use Manicure Top Coat, you can use really any of your um, base or top coats. It's just a personal preference. I do like the Synergy Base because it's a little bit less self-leveling. So I'm gonna just brush that on and wherever I brush it, it's gonna stay. And when I apply my glitters, my little confettis, they're not gonna move around, they're not gonna Kind of flow off to the side or anything like that. I'm going to take just a few of them right into the cap and I'm just going to pick them up with my gel brush and just set them right where I want in my pot of gold. And you can stack them as high as you want and I think that's about as many as I want. If you want to kind of decorate around the rest of the nail, add more accents, you are more than welcome to do that. Okay, we'll go ahead and freeze that into place. This time I'm gonna put it in for a 30 second freeze because I'm using the Synergy. So our gold coins are set into the nail. I'm gonna come back in with my Ultimate Finish Gel. Again, whatever top coat you prefer, go ahead and use that. I'm gonna do two coats of my top coat. So the first coat is going to kind of seal those coins in, seal that glitter in there so that I don't feel any texture. And then that second coat is gonna give us that really nice high shine. So by doing two coats, you're gonna get a really nice smooth finish and you won't feel any of that glitter underneath. So I 
froze our first coat of top coat into place, we'll go ahead and do our second coat of top coat to give us that really nice smooth finish. We'll get that in there for 60 seconds. We'll finish this nail. I'll go ahead and file up the rest of the set and I'll show you the finished work. Subscribe channel now. Subscribe channel now. Subscribe.